Hey everyone, it's Doug here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to our continued second episode of Light to Dark. Uh, this should be the end of the ser this uh, playthrough because it's not supposed to be a long game. It's only a 15 to 30 minute game. I broke it into two episodes because I did a lot of explanation in the last one. And I foresee that we will complete the second half of the game, hopefully right here. And hopefully we do that with a big victory, though... I don't know. I mean, we're, we did so far, so far so good. We did, if you can see down here, we did complete our first quest in service of the people, which is going to give us six victory points. That is nice. We're working on our second second quest, rather. Resourceful, meaning we have to gather a bunch of items. Not, there's only one item left on the board, so we've got to continue our exploration, and hopefully we find some items that we can uh, get a hold of. Now, we do have, uh, in the last, we do have a a couple villages we can we need to heal. I'm going to leave this one, though I can't go through it as a result of that because I want to come back and heal it once we've hit this final card here for our quests. I'm not going back over the rules on this. Um, if you saw the last video, uh, you, you know the rules. If you didn't, I advise going back and seeing that because I did describe the rules of the game. And I do want to um, uh, mention that uh, one of the friends of the channel, Pencil Polly, talked me into something. <laughs> so... He probably says it's, it's rare that, that this goes in reverse and you guys are convincing me to go buy stuff. But I got uh, Arkham Noir. Uh, I'm looking for small box solo type games that are good for trips. And I got the three different sets. I don't even know if it's any good. I got all three of them anyway. It wasn't that expensive, so it was okay. I got it, got it pretty cheaply. But we're going to get started. As we get into it, I did want to talk about the, the channel. I, I don't mean this to be a channel update, so I'll make it brief. But uh, I am returning to doing some more videos. Um, and uh, one of the things that I've always tried to do in the, God, almost 10 years I've been putting out videos, you'd think I'd have a bigger face by now, but it's okay. Um, I, I know why I don't, but that's okay. Um, anyway, I've been always trying to do creative, like, storytelling introductions and things like that. And um, I've been exploring new tools. You know, I think we have to continue to explore and advance. And I know a lot of people get a little concerned about AI tools and things like that, but man, they are so efficient. And while I don't want to replace artists or music people or voiceover people or anything, look, I, I don't make money on this channel. I'm not going to go pay artists. I, I don't make money on this channel. I just want to be clear on that. I do this for you all. I'm not trying to make money on it anymore. I, there was a time when I thought I would and a time that I thought I'd turn it into a business. But the problem with my personality, I know myself, and the problem with my personality is in my work life and everything. I'm very competitive. And if I'm not top dog, if I'm not number one, if I'm not the biggest, I'm going to keep fighting for that, and I'm going to work till I work my fingers to the bone. It's just the way I am. I was that way when I was in competitive other things, too. And so I never wanted that this to be that, so I just stopped trying. I, like, I don't even have my, I, like, I have a Patreon. I don't even tell you guys about it anymore. I just did, but I don't, I don't really tell you about it anymore. I'm not trying to make money. I'm trying to enjoy. In fact, the channel actually, in the end, costs me money. I think the only Payback I've gotten is some been, some people have sent me some games for free. That's about it. And that used to be a lot more. I don't even ask for that anymore. I'm just doing this for your enjoyment. So what I'm saying is if I find, if I'm exploring creative tools and everything like that, please understand that I'm not coming at this from a, a position of making money or trying to make money. Just create great stories and, and explore other avenues. So I am exploring AI tools. Some people are going to like it. Some people aren't. That's the way it goes. The playthroughs themselves are not going to be AI, though. Like, I'm doing this on the table like I want to. I'm just doing things like the storytelling introductions. I used to go through and sift through thousands of hours of expensive um, uh, B-roll and, not expensive, but B-roll and, and stock footage and incorporating art from the game. So I'm still going to do some of that. But it took so long, and now I can do things more efficiently and better. So anyway, I'm going to stop there, talk about that. But I want to be clear that I'm not driving this channel to make money. I have not... Again, I've not pushed the Patreon. I don't ask you guys for money. Don't even ask you guys for tips or anything. I don't ask for memberships. Nothing. I'm just doing this for y'all because I don't want to compete with myself <laughs> Okay, for one reason. And I enjoy this and I don't want it to stop being enjoyable. So let's get to the game table then and get going. Sorry for that little bit of a rant, but I just wanted to share that with you. I might do a real like update in the near future. All right, so we are about to take our next turn. We have a, a handful of turns left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve turns left. So we're doing okay, I think. I do believe we're going to have to come around this way on the board since I can't go through that village right now without curing it. I don't want to do that quite yet, just in case we don't find too many other villages. So our first action. Now remember, we have increased our movement 
so you can see it down here. You can't. I'll show our character again. We have increased our movement to the maximum, which is awesome. Now, when I get when I take damage, I don't have to always take it from health. I can take it from these other resources. That's why they go up and down. I will. Not, I just won't take it from my combat. I think that's too important. And right now, I want to keep my movement pegged because that seems to be like an action part of the action economy is how far you can move. Um, of course, you stop when you run into something you want to do, but. That's okay. And then we're still healthy enough. I think three. And if I can find some more wolves in the board, I can fix that as well. But we're doing okay. And Haller also has one herb. With that said, I am going to push the map up just a wee bit so we can explore southward because that's what we're going to have to do. Now, there are monsters on the board again, which means they're going to be making their way towards me slowly. I don't know why, no matter where they are in the world, they seem to know where I am. But it is what it is. That's the way the game goes. So we're going to do this. Now, what I'm going to do for my first action, I'm going to move the marker. Now, I'm not going to show you I'm moving the marker every time. It's right right there where I'm keeping track of my turns. But I got six movement. So I'm going to go... Oh, we got wolves on us. I think we have to take care of... I think I already did. I did, yeah. I think we took care of this already. No, we didn't. They populated. I have to take care of that now. So we're going to fight some wolves. That's good. That will help us heal. So let's get this out. Now, the wolves are a just a one in their strength, as you know. And I am a three... Uh, I ha also have some items that might help us with this, but I don't think that we need to do that. So, let's first roll and see what we get. As I said, one health wolf is gone. Okay. However, that does count as my first action. So, that does heal my, uh, me up one more. That's the reward for killing a wolf is a health. So, we're at four now. We're almost back to maximum. So, for my second action, then I'll go one, two, three, four to explore. Let's see what we get. Oh, this is an interesting tile. We're going to have to go this way, or this way, and it's, it's the monsters are beefed up on this. They're a plus three. Whew, that's rough. Uh, so that was four. Oh, oh. <laughs> are you kidding? God, this has happened to me so often in this game. I didn't realize how tough this part was going to be. Let me zoom in just a little. There's a cliff here. This is a dead end. I have to go through and cure the village, which does me no good right now at all. Like, no good at all. I guess it doesn't help me with my quest at all. So I was hoping to hold on to that, but we're not going to be able to unless I go all the way back up and around. I'm not going to do that either. So that was my second action. So for my third action this turn, I'm going to go uh, back up one, two, three, four. Unfortunately, just stopping there. And if I want to continue through uh, uh, next turn, I'm going to have to do this. So I would use my herb and cure... This little house, well, you can't see where I'm going. There you go. Uh, I moved up there, cured the village of the plague, and now uh, we'll continue on through this way, this already explored tile. So we have a couple, we'll come down here, see if it, if it won't loop around there. We might as well go straight out here and see what happens, I think. Probably the best bet. We can come down. It's closer to come down here and see if we can move out that way. We'll see. But that marks the end of our turn, which means we're going to our enemy phase. First thing that happens is the enemies move. So we'll start from the closest one. Actually, you're supposed to start in the order of what they are. So technically, the giants and cultists will move first. There are no cultists, so just giants. And the giants have a movement of three. So they're going to go. Looks like this way might be closer. One, two, three. Yeah, it definitely is. One, two, three. That's that. Okay, over here, um, I have a... Uh, brigands, they're the next up, they move two, so they're going to go across the bridge, one, two to there, and up here I have wolves, they're just going to move one right there. So that is, I'm looking, scanning the board, that's it for now. I have a village and a treasure way the heck up here, but I don't, man, that's a long way to get there, even with a six movement. Anyway, that's the enemy phase. Now I'm going to move the marker forward. In a minute, this mark, the marker down here is going to matter because we're going to increase the strength of the enemies. By the way, I forgot to say, I almost, I missed it, but it didn't matter. The uh, wolves were plus one. Enemies are plus one strength, so the wolves are two right now. Got to remember that. All right, uh, for my first action for the new round, um, I'm going to move one, two, three, four, five, six. That's all I get to do. Second action, first part, one movement point to explore. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, my. oh, I got to populate these two. You do populate them. So there's that and that. I got to populate these tiles down here. There's a, another uh, village there, but I can't get to it. Uh, we're going to have an enemy and an herb. I can get that herb. That's good. And for the enemy, let's draw an enemy card. We're going, oh, cultists. Bad news. Bears. Cultists are tough. We're going to have to go through them. Except we can't get to them, and they can't get to us. So they can't move anywhere. 
at this point. There's no clear path. Wow, that is really <laughs> killing my game right here. All right, bad luck. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're heading up and around here. Might as well. Where else can we go? There's nowhere else to go. All right, we're going to go back to the enemy phase. I mean, it's going quick, right? Uh, we're going to back to the enemy phase. So the Giants, one, two, three. They're catching up to me. One, two, three. The co the uh, I think they're going to have to go across here, so they're going to go one, two, and these guys are going to go one right there. And that, that's it. So they're starting to catch up to me. I could beat them. That's not a big deal, I don't think. All right. However, we're at the end of the round, so we're going to go back around, but there's something else that happens. I mean, there's a, a luck factor in here with the way the tiles play out that's pretty rough. This is rough. I mean, you notice I'm going vertically. I can't even go sideways. It's crazy. Uh, I guess I'm going to have to now, but I haven't had the opportunity. But this quest is looking pretty grim at this point. However, here's the big problem. As we move our time marker up here, we are now going to increase the creatures by plus two. So they are now plus two, meaning the wolves are a three. The cultists are now a five. So that's really bad. The cultists and the giants. The giants are now the giants are a four. That's pretty rough. And now. We're up three, but that means they're still tougher than us, so it's gonna, we're going to have to rely on some items to get this done, and I need more items. However, that marks the end of the turn, so we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. Explore here. Hopefully we can't. Oh, good. We can actually move. And there's an item. That's nice. All right. Five. I'm going to probably have to move the map board over a bit. I may do that off camera. But anyway, we do have some items there, an item there. So we're going to go. problem is I already have two items, and they're not bad. Uh, the torch wand's almost gone, so I can probably replace that. I, I need to get these items. So we're going to go one, two for our second action. Oh, I'm sorry, that wasn't... That was, we still had movement for our first action. So we ended up right there, right? Where was I? One, two, let me see. I, I came from here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So no, I would have had to take my second action to go get that item. So we are on our second action. And what do I get? An adrenaline shot. Just plus one combat and discard. Okay, well, I guess that's going to replace our torch wand because that's the greater war charm is two valuables. So I'm not going to replace that. So the torch wand is going to go goodbye. You can only have two items. Um, now we have the adrenaline shot and we now get to increase our quest up one. We've got two more to get that. We might be able to pull it off. I hope so. We'll see. And for our third action, I'm going to come down here and see if we can wrap around because there's stuff here that I could use. Unfortunately, we still can't get over there. One, two, three, four. So I got two more movement. Remember, two more movement, and we are going to be able to get on there. Um, and there's good stuff there for us, too. Four. We got two more movement. Let's see what we got. We got an item down here we're going to need to get to. We also have a village to cure over here. We don't have any herbs, and I don't have any on the board right now, so that's not good. I can't get to that village yet, but it's not time anyway. We've got to get to this last prevention thing. And then if we're going to have an enemy, let's see what the enemy is. It's a pack of wolves. That's great. I like wolves. They're simple, easy, and die quick. So we're going to use our movement. I can let the wolves chase us and attack us. Uh, I got two more movements, so I'm going to move this way and head toward this treasure right here. That's more important. That's our actual quest right now. So we're going to go there. That was our third action. Then we're going to move on to the enemy phase. So let's uh, start moving the enemies top to bottom. Uh, enemies, uh, not top to bottom, but, but strongest to weakest. So the cultists, they can now come at us. They have a movement of four. So they might, they're not going to reach us, but they're going to get close. Uh, one, two, three, four. The wolves, I'm just going to move them here because they're going to move one. They didn't actually get to attack us. These guys go one, two, three, one, two, three. And these wolves go one there. They're working their way down. And then these guys go one, two. There we go. Got everybody on the board. Now we're going to repopulate monsters very quickly, so this is kind of grim. Uh, that means our time marker is going to go up one. We did that. And then we're going to go back around to our phase. Got six movement. One, two, three, four for our first move, first action. And you get down here, we're going to get this other item. Hold on. You know what? I'm going to do something slightly different than that. I'm going to go to the wolves for our first action and fight them because I'm going to use the adrenaline shot just to get them killed. All right, so um, might as well use it while we have it in case we need it. All right, so we're going to get there. Now, remember, the wolves are now plus three, so they're not exactly wimpy. They're tied with us in strength. So let's see what we get. And look, uh, well, no, we still, they did beat us, so they got a six plus three, got a four, five. So I can tie them, wait, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need two. That's not good. So I can use my war charm, which would give me, yeah, we'll use the uh, charge on the war charm. That makes us a four. I, mean, I was hoping to use the adrenaline shot, but no bueno. So that basically it, it makes your lowest die the, the same as your largest die. So we'll do that. That kills the wolves. That's good. And that gives us another health, but we did have to use a charge on our, our greater war charm. We only have one charge left. Then the cultists are going to catch up to us. Then I'll be able to use the adrenaline. No, they're not. So we're going to go to our second action. Do I go fight the cultists? What do the cultists give us a reward? A choice of anything? I'm maxed out on everything. No point in doing that. Because the wolves maxed our health back out. So one, two, three, four, five. We may just have to get rid of the adrenaline shot. We're going to choose what we pick. We'll get that item. That's going to. We only need one more item to complete our quest. And we get a dragon shield. has two charges on it. Blocks an attack. That's better than the war charm. I gotta read what that means. That's that's something new. The little something with the enemies there with the dragon shield. Let's see. The dragon shield. What does the dragon shield do? Not the basic shield. Dra oh, it's got a whole big right up there. Um, when you use this, choose one option. You can cancel or negate one damage when fighting an enemy or boss, or push an enemy away three spaces. Okay. Okay. All right, but we're not. We haven't used a charge on it yet, so it goes into our inventory and we will actually lose the adrenaline shot. Leave it on the roadside there, that's too bad. And then for our third and final action, what are we going to do? I can't get out here, I can go over that way, so we're going to go one, two, three, four to explore. Oh good, we get, oh my god, we're going to get mobbed! <laughs> Just real, but our last uh, item requirement is there, that's good. So we're going to, let's put the item here, surrounded by critters. So the first critter is going to be wolf pack. That's not bad. They're going to all come at us this turn anyway, so not all of them will make it, but uh, next one is going to be crimson bandits. They're going to go right here. Um, there we go. And then we have two more. So the crimson bandits again, and I'm going to have to shuffle up the uh, the deck. Now here's the problem. Wait to see what happens at the end of this turn. This is going to be crazy, y'all. It's going to be absolutely insane. All right. Um, let's see. I got one more I need to draw. Let's see what we get. Crimson Bandits. Okay, so the bandits have taken over this region, and we're probably going to have to fight a whole bunch of them because that was the end of our round. We're going to go into good... Thank God for the Dragon Shield. I might push those cultists back if they come to me. But we're going to go to the enemy phase. Enemy movement. We're going to start with the cultists. They're going to go one, two, three, four. They didn't quite make it to us. Um, I did have one more movement, but I'll let them come to me. That's fine. That way we don't have to burn a turn, uh, burn anything. Well, it wouldn't have mattered. Uh, okay, uh, then we're going to go with the giants. The giants are still moving towards me. One, two, three. One, two, three. These guys are going to move one, two. These wolves way up here are still trying to come our way. It's very slow for them. And then these wolves are going to move on to us. These guys are going one, two to here. They're on this spot. One, two. I don't think they can double up. I don't know. I'll have to look at that. One, two. So they're moving around there. We're probably going to kill a bunch of them. But some, I have a weird scenario that's about to pop up. I'm not sure how to, to manage this yet. So we'll see. But we're going to fight the wolves right now. Let's see what we get here. Okay, so the wolves are three. We're a three. Okay, we did, in, in fact, beat them. That is good. So they are dead. I'm already at max health, so I get no benefit from that. Um, and that marks the end of the enemy phase. However, this is a weird scenario. I'm not sure. i got to look about the double up, doubling up thing, because technically these two guys are together. Can an enemy occupy the same space? Let me check. Okay, they do not move on top of each other, so they're going to be like this, which means this, this space here and this space here are not going to respawn, because right now are respawning enemies. Look, boom. i got one more turn to get to that. I'll, I'll get to that treasure next turn, and we'll complete that quest. That's good. All right, so uh, we're going to spawn a bunch of enemies around. Let's do that. So the first one, we'll just start here on the map tile that we're on. So we're going to, we have two enemies to spawn there. We're going to spawn giants right here. This is a ba embattled area, and giants again. Hmm. I saw I shuffled it, but that's okay. And that's, that's it going to be there. We come over here. we got one Spot here to, to cover. It's going to be a wolf pack. Uh, let's continue across th this right here. It's going to be a wolf pack. 
um, and then we go up along the trails of just I got one over way the heck over here it's going to be Crimson Bandits over here going up this way we got two on this tile gonna be uh, cultists and wolves so cultists first wolves second and I think I got one more way up north and that's it no two more wolf pack up uh, over here Way the heck, uh, I'm like way all over the place, right? So there's one over here, and then I got one more up there. And that is going to be Crimson Bandits. Man, the world is getting populated with enemies. Now, I wonder what happens when you run out of tokens. I guess you just, you'll be killing them because they'll keep coming at you. So, um, eventually, but we got to shuffle up the enemy cards again. Um, they are, we exhausted the little deck quite quickly. Uh, also, we haven't gotten to the boss yet. How, when do we get to the boss? Oh, we got to find the boss tile. It's in the last four tiles. we got to keep moving, that's for sure. Okay, so that um, is the end of the round. So we're back around. Obviously, we've got some fighting to do. So we're going to move into these guys right here for our first action. Unfortunately, that's, again, that movement economy is bad for us. But it is what it is now. The, the Crimson Bandits are two, so they're strength four right now. Again, we do have our dragon shield. I can push people back and get out of the way. Maybe I'll do that with these giants and run northwards, see what I can find. Anyway, let's roll and see what we get. Can you see the dice ball? You cannot. Let's uh, position it so you can. There we go. All right. Well, we... Oh, they got... So they got... A, that gets, puts them at a five. That puts them at a nine. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Where we beat them? No problem. And why did... Now, again, just as a rules refresher, if you roll doubles, you get to add one. The enemies and you get to add one. To it, it's like a critical hit or something. So, the giants are gone. The reward for the giants is plus one in combat. I'm already maxed out. Second action, we're going to go complete our quest. Going here, we're going to grab this item. Now, granted, I have to get rid of an item, and I got two great items, so I'll probably get rid of whatever we just draw. We'll see. Uh, plant, uh, plant to pour spo poison. What does this do? Minus one. This seems weaker. I'm going to look it up just to see what it actually does, and it does seem weaker than the other things. So we'll see the things I have. So the plant, the, yeah, the plant to pour poison says the enemy boss, enemy or boss, only rolls a single combat die. Well, that's actually pretty good against the cultists. I don't know if it's better than the, the dragon shield or the matching my highest die. Like right now, if I needed to match the highest die, I could have got a six. But, oh, by the way, I, hold on. Oh, yeah, yeah. I didn't kill the cult. Look at the. Uh, oh, there's was Wolfpack. Yeah, I killed him. There, or was it Bandits? It was Bandits. I actually needed a roll, a second roll. Hold on. Okay, uh, five, six. So, five, six, seven, eight. They they actually beat us. So I am going to use the. I got one more charge left on our greater wand to make that a six. Sorry, I missed that. I, I forgot that the Bandits actually have two health, so we had to beat them twice. So I did beat them twice, but at the cost of using one of our charges from our greater charm before they're gone. Then I moved on and got the poison. Now with only one charge left on the greater charm, actually I used it three times tonight. Yeah, so this is gone anyway. Or eh, I might have had one more charge, but I'm going to replace this with this regardless because of what it does. Maybe we can save that for those cultists. This can be really helpful against the cultists. And the giants. Giants aren't wimpy either. I mean the giants have a strength of two as well. Uh, that means they're four. Okay, that was my second action. Third action, I can't get to a location. I can. Where do I want to go? I think I want to go northward so I can... No, then the giants are closer to me. Maybe I want to... Uh, I don't know. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know. It's faster to go north. Well, I can go straight across. So I'm going to go... My last action is going to be to go here. I could use a dragon... Thing to push him out of the way. No, we're going to go fight him. We're going to go fight the giants just to get him out of the way. No, nah, everything's going to catch up to me. Everything's going to catch up to me. I'm going to use a charge on our dragon shield, so I only have one left, unfortunately. But I'm going to use it to push this guy three. He's going to go one, two, three to here. And then for my last action, I'm going to go one, two, three. Herb and a village, that's good. And an enemy, but no item. Oh, I just completed my items, didn't I? I got that quest done. We're good there. I'm going to have to move some stuff out of the way so I can continue to expand this map out in the crazy way it is expanding. Um, let me see, I was here, so it's one, two, three, four. What's the enemy? What do we got? Uh, Frost, do we got some giants there? 
giants. I think we can just kill the jack, kill the giants. We're gonna. Oh, I'm out of giant tokens. What does that mean? Oh, oh one more. Okay. I'm gonna kill them anyway because I'm gonna move on to them and fight them and get them done. Everybody's gonna have to chase me. But I do want to remind myself that there is a village here and an herb on the way. And uh, I think by the time we get there, I may delay a turn to go fight and then run back in there because even though I need to uncover the tiles, if I get on the next tile, I can complete the village quests. And there's a village right there. So I may do that. But first off, we do have to bat battle the giants. Giants have a health of, this is another problem with the giants, they have a health of three, so I'm going to put that on the track. You have to beat them three times, and they are four. So that's an eight, 11, 12, and ours is a four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, I don't think I can use the potion. I'm going to have to, I'm going to take the hit. So I'm going down to a four. I could have blocked the hit, but I'm going to go down to a four. I don't want to use the rest of the dragon shield yet. Okay, uh, we tied, which means they are actually one better than us still. I need to defeat them. <laughs> this is not good. I have no way to pump that number up. Don't have a reroll. All right, I'm going to take another health hit here. Okay, see if we can do better. Okay, we did there. That time we got them one. We'll keep rolling. Do I want to knock their dice down one? I want to save that for the cultists, but might be worth it here. Um, we didn't, and we creamed them on the la on that attack, so we're good there. We got one more health to go. Let's try again. Oh, look at that. Doubles, and they got doubles, but that doesn't matter because we rolled a 12. So we did kill these giants. Unfortunately, you know what I should have done? It would have been wiser for me to take a... Uh, no, it wouldn't have because I need the attack value, but there... I could have reduced my attack value knowing I was going to kill the giants, but that would have been a mistake. That was action two, action three... Going to go here and pick up the herbs. So now I have the herbs again, and that's going to be the end of the round. Enemy phase, cultists. All cultists move first. One, two, three, four. The ones up here, one, two, three. They can't move past, so that's it. Okay, then giants. Giants go one, two, three. One, two, can't move past them, so they'll go there. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'm moving a bunch of things all over the board. <laughs> okay. That's it for the giants. Okay, crimp the bandits. They'll move there. They can't go any farther. They'll move there. They can't go any farther. Okay, then up here, got a couple movement. One, two. One, two. And one, two. Then wolves. One, one. 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 Okay, that's it. Done. Lots of movement going on there. And nobody got to me. Amazing. Just amazing. I don't want to cure that village yet, though, so I may, might explore first, see if I can find the boss. I think we're in the... No, we still have five, so this next one won't be the boss, but maybe the one after one will. All right, let's continue. I don't want to quite cure that village yet, because we got. I want to get it to here. We've completed this and this. That's 12 points. We'll see if we can get to the last one. We should be able to. I just need to find some more herbs and villages. Okay, so with our first action, we're going to go one, two. We're going to explore for a third point. Oh, that's a, another beefy beast tile. But we got an herb and a village on it. That's fantastic. But we're going to have to populate a lot of enemies. Hope we can. Okay, cultists. That is terrible. That's going to be right here. Right here, we're going to have wolves. That's not so bad. And then down here, we're going to have bandits. So we got a smorgasbord of enemies on this tile. We also have a herb over here. That's fantastic. And a village. So I think we can complete this, and then, but we still have to beat the boss, which is not a given. Okay, so that was action one. Man, action two, I think I need to get the herb and then head... Yeah, so action two. Oh, I can't. They're all the way. Look at look at that. I have to go through a bunch of wimpy enemies to get there, and cure the village. Oh wait, I can't do anything. <laughs> okay, all right, we're not going down there yet. That's fine. We're gonna have to go where? Oh my God, I there's nowhere to go. <laughs> That's this game. I tell you, the movement is the thing that kills you. We can't go through here. Look, this goes. This goes. 
around here and out here. But I have to cure that village on the way, and I don't want to do that yet. I've got both villages there. I can't get to that herb, though. So if I cure this village, no, I can't, because I have to go all the way around. I can't even get to that village. I right. okay. I think what our plan is of attack is going to be. I'm going to go after the cultists. No, I can't. There's no path there. I can't do I gotta go. How do I get there? I don't. Here. I can get there here. Which means I have to go through a mob of enemies. Lordy. And then I have to come all the way back around. This is no, that doesn't make any sense at all. So um, I still have uh, when I, I went one, two, I got two movement left, right? I guess, well, I have no choice but to go back where I, once, whence I came. Well, I could go cure this. this my, that was my first action, so I just don't want to kill it, cure it yet. I'll just, I, I can't, I want to skip my action either. That's bad, but I can get out over here and see what's here at least. Maybe it'll wrap around and give me this village. I don't know. We're going to go here. We'll take on the wolves. The wolves are pretty tough now anyway, so it's not like it's a cakewalk for us, even though they only have one health. Let's uh, see what we get fighting these wolves. Um, nine. Oh, God, they whooped us on that, didn't they? Um, I can use... Uh, I'll take a hit because when we kill them, I'm going to get a health back. So I'll take another health hit. Uh, when we kill them is not inevitable, is it? So they are a three. I'm a three. I'm going to take a movement point hit instead of a health hit there. I could use... I'm trying to save my items for the cultists, y'all. Those are bad. Okay, doubles. So that's a five. That's a five. Tied, we won. Okay, finally. And then I get a health back. So I'm back up to three. Wolves are gone. Wolves are gone. Okay. That wasn't really good. And then... I don't want to do anything at this point. It was, that was my second action. So my third action... These guys can't get to me, so I'm not worried about them. The giants can. For my third action, I could just go kill a giant and then fight one next turn. And the cultists and the... Oh man, I don't want to do that. They're going to blaze through. I'd fight all of them if I move up there. So it's, uh, well, we're going to wait. I don't want to cure the village. It's always optional. I don't have to. I can go there and wait. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to move here, but I'm not going to go through. I'm just going to take... It's optional to take the next action. I'm going to stop my movement there. End my turn. Go to the enemy phase. Next turn will be on the new map, on the new quest, and I can cure one of the villages, and then try and skedaddle out of the way. We'll see how this works for us. Okay. Movement. They can't go anywhere. I'm not going to worry about them. So this cultist is going one, two, three, four. He's trying... He's going to catch us at some point. Giants... One, two, three. These giants are only going to be able to move there. Oh, I got another cultist, sorry. One, two, three, four. Oh, he can't get through three. That's it. Okay, giants, the other giant. I've moved those. Um, any other giants on the board? I don't think so. No, just a bunch of bandits. Okay, so they're going to move there, f there for two. They're going to move there. They're kind of bottlenecking. Actually, I made a mistake there. I think he's here. Doesn't matter in the end. And then he'll be able to move there. Okay. Um, oh, these giants. One, two, three. Can't go. One, two, three. Can go. Wolves, one. I don't know why they force you to do it this way. I think it's easier because you're looking across them. It's easier to go across and scan it. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, one. One, two, he would have moved first, so they wouldn't have been able to move. That, that makes sense. Two, no, one, two, he couldn't do it. One, two, he can't move, so he's going to stay there. Then they're going to move one. Okay. I think I got everything, I think. Oh, by the way, I was moving stuff away up there, wasn't I? Without you on screen, so I'm sorry. All right. Um, as you can see, our map is going crazy. That is the end of, end of the enemy phase, but more importantly, we do get to advance to the new map. We did complete our second quest for items. That's great. And so now, I'm going to take my action, first action, cure the village. I only have one herb, so we're kind of in a spot of trouble with that. I've cured the village, which gives me one point. I need to cure one more village to get that last six points, so I don't know how I'm going to do it. Then my second action is going to be one, two. We'll explore over here. The boss! I found the boss already. But I need another point. I need another village somehow. I can go north first. And these enemies are going to catch up to us. i got to make space. More space. Okay, we're going to go here. Um, I do have another item. 
Probably going to check that out. And we're going to get to see who our boss is. Ready? I'm going to shuffle it up. Now the boss is going to start moving toward us too, I believe. That's the boss's lair right there. Let's see what we get. We get Kithris, the leader of the pack. Well, that makes sense because I've killed so many wolves. This guy's probably pissed off at me. So I'm going to put that there. I'm going to get the token out for the Kithris. Where is he? I don't see it in here. Uh, 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 uh. I am not seeing one of the boss tokens. Let me find it. Here's the boss, to boss token for Kithris, and he is right there. I'm going to double check on boss movement, but I'm pretty sure he's going to come after me. And then for our next action, it doesn't actually say, what's his, his stats again? Um, it just says that. What is that? Let's see what he is. I think I have to go to him. It doesn't look like he moves. I have to go to him and fight him. Um, Kithris. Where are the bosses? Okay, what does that mean? Punch a movement? <laughs> I don't know what that means. Okay, um, let's see. Where's the bosses? There should be the end game bosses. Yeah, okay, boss. Okay, I know how combat works. I know how the enemy end, uh, end of game works. I'm not seeing anything for the bosses. I'm sure it's in here. I'm going to look. I'll be right back. I was right. He punches our speed. <laughs> so we lose movement until we lose the game or beat him. And he has... How do we beat him? What his, is his strength? The boss strength is not on the table. So this is interesting. I have not Having not fought a boss this yet before, this is really interesting. So I'm looking for the, the bosses here again. Where is it? Yeah, gameplay bosses. There we go. Um... The boss. Boss spawn effect. As soon as the boss card is revealed, lose one strength, life, or movement. Uh, any of your items cards to... Or discard any of your item cards, depending on the boss card drawn. Okay, so this is... Okay, we're going to lose a movement now, so we're down to four. Okay. If you cannot lose the required amount... Which is... Which is all stats. So how do, how do we fight? I don't know how we fight the boss. Let me look at this some more. Okay, so we got the weakest of the bosses, actually. Um, he's a wolf, so uh, while he does take that, do that speed hit, um, he's basically a wolf, which means that um, he's got a strength of three, and, but he does have five health, so that's, that's the big difference right there. Um, anyway, we have enough movement to get to this item, so we're going to pop over here, pick up this item, now that we understand what the boss does, see what the item is. Might be more useful than what we have. Another plant of poison. Ooh! Man, does that replace the shield for me right now? This will stop, reduce him by a die. That's really powerful, and I would have four. We're going to do that. Unfortunately, I only had one charge left on the dragon shield. We're going to get rid of it, replace it with two poisons. We haven't used it. We've got four charges where you can reduce an enemy by that amount. And we've got one more, one more round action left before the enemies go. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. Got two more movement points. Oh... No, the village is on the other side of the river. Man, we're just getting screwed on this this uh, movement stuff here. Anyway, we got a enemy. I have to populate two enemies. One is the first one's gonna be bandits. Okay, and the second one's going to be where is it? I could go after the boss right now and kill him, giants, um, and get that done. But the giants on the other side of the river, they cannot. They can get to me, but it's gonna take them a long time. Um, what else was I doing? A village is right here, but I don't have any herbs, so I can't cure village anyway. And then there's another treasure up, another market with a treasure up here. Um, okay, that's that. All right, let's uh, see what we got here. I can go up this way. Oh, there's two treasures on here. I can go up. Well, I might as well make my two movement up to here and fight these bandits and see if I can get some more stats. The bandits give me what? Movement. That's great. Okay, let's uh, do our attack. They are a strength of <laughs> five, four, four. Okay, we're of three, there are four. All right, uh, they beat us, so we're going to take a point of damage. I guess I'll take it from my health, on two health. That's not great. All right, then I think the next one I'm going to use a charge from our dragon um, plantor poison, plantor poison to reduce them. There, crushed them. That's one hit. Remember, they have two hits. I'll use a, the second one and burn my... Thing just to make sure they're dead. There we go. We killed them. Oh man, I would have killed them anyway, probably. That's okay. I did use a poison. We got an item coming up. So they're gone, which increases my speed up to five. That's good. And they are history. That was um, 
my third action though. So that's the end of the round. We're going to do enemy actions. Starting with cultists. Cultists are really, they can't get to me. They have to go way around. So they're going to go one, two, three, four. And we're going to go these guys up here. One, two, three, four. Let me see if I can get the whole map. The map has gone crazy on me. I'm just going to move them off camera. You'll see what's happening. Okay, well, I think what we're going to do now, we're going, we did, I did the enemy phase. Everybody's moved. We're back around. I can kill the boss, just not get the six points. I, I, need, to get, I need to get one more village. I don't have a good way to do this at this point, and I have no herbs. So I can go off the, the map this way again, get this item. Or I, can, I think that's the best option for us. We're going to move. Man, this is, like I said, the map's going sprawling all over the place. We'll move here. We'll grab this item for that's that's action one. See what the item is since I only have one. This is good. Boots of speed. We get plus one movement or this or that. So well, I can skip over a monster or skip over a, a village. Uh, we got so we got the boots of speed. That's good. We'll take it. Right now we have plus one. I can burn it to get another movement point. We have five though, so I'm not that worried about it. Then second action one two. We're gonna draw one of the last train cards. See what we get here. Uh, there's a village, but I have no... It's wrapping around. I have no herbs. I think I'm going to lose that last quest. I might just have to go after the boss before it's too late. In fact, I think we're going to do that. I'm going to populate this place here. I, have, what, uh, I had uh, one, two, so I have three more movement. Yeah, three more movement left. I'll put this here. There are also two enemies on there. Let's see what they are. Wolves, not a crisis. They're there, and then enemies, uh, wolves, more wolves, lots of wolves. And I do have enough tokens for them. Good. Okay. And then I think we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six for a third action. Now, the cultists are going to catch us, but it is what it is. I could get a seventh movement point out of that. I'm going to I'm going to go fight the boss next turn. I don't think we're not going to be able to complete this last quest. And by the way, all the Monsters pop repopulate on the board. I'm just going to do the ones that can get to us because it's not going to matter. Do these two uh, bandits. They might be able to reach us, but they also might block some bad, other bad guys and more wolves. So the wolves are here. And that's really the only ones that are... Well, there's this one here too. This, these guys are actually right there. So <clears throat> let me reshuffle and I'll populate those two because they might come into play. Might not. I'm, I think the only thing I have to worry about right now are those cultists and the boss. I have to beat five times. What do we got? We got wolves again. So one more pack of wolves over there. And that's here. Okay, good. Done. Now let's uh, move on to our next round. There's, um, oh, I didn't move them. I got to move them first, don't I, before I populate them. So let's take this guy off. He's going to go one, two, three. Yeah, we're going to battle him. He's going to go one, two, three. I'm just going to move the ones that matter. I'll do them off screen. Okay, we do have a big battle with cultists. I'm going to lay this down very carefully right here so you can see it. I am going to use a, a, a poison to make them only roll one die because they are currently at... There's no bonuses on this tile, which is good. So they are currently at a, a three, four, five. They're at a five, we're at a three. Um, so we got to do good. That means we're going to definitely take away that uh, die from them. And we did oh, 11. We crushed them. That's the first of three points to do to them. Remember, they have a health of three. Okay, the second one, uh, we're just going to have to try and fight them straight up, I think. Oh, my gosh. They beat us. So we'll take a point. We'll go down to four. Oh, I forgot to move him. Four movement. This is getting bad. Uh, God, I'm going to use the other... I'm going to use the poison again, y'all. I need to kill these guys. Okay, we did beat them. Uh, they still have one health left, so we're going to have to just... Now the, the my other poison is gone, so we're just going to have to deal. Oh my gosh, there's... Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm going to take it... I'm down to one health, y'all. One health. Can I make it? Oh, um, I'll go down to three movement. I can get squeeze a little extra movement out of my boots. Man, I'm getting whooped here. Come on now. There we go. Four, five, six, five, six, seven. They're at a three, four, five. I'm at a three. I 
I'm plus one versus cultists. I'm at a four. It doesn't matter, but it would have mattered. I forgot that Howard Talek is plus one versus cultists. I don't think it would matter. I didn't tie them at any time or get, or get that close to it. So, man, um, I guess I'll move our combat down to two. We're just gonna, I think this might be the end of it. Six. We're at eight. Four, five, ten. Okay, we, we, we lost. We lost. Um, I can't lose anymore. I can go down to two movement. Maybe we can get lucky, but I'm only at two movement, so the Giants are going to catch me and beat me. Let's see. No. Uh, that's a five. Three, five, six, seven, eight, five, six, seven, eight. Tied. We got him in the last. Okay, we got him in that last round. What do I get as a bonus reward for that? I'm going to push my movement back up to three, I guess. Um, and our poison's gone. I don't have any good items now, though. That's unfortunate. So that was the that was these guys, and that's the enemy phase. So for my next action, first of action, I can only move three. So I'm going to go one, two, three. I'll move three again. One, two, three. We're going to fight the big bad guy. All right. Now he's he is a we're a, a two versus a three actually. So he, he's a, a a three strength. I'm a two strength, but I have to beat him five times. I have no items. So this is just going to be random luck, y'all. Got him. That's one. Got him again. That's two. <laughs> Look at that. Eight, nine. Remember this, 8, 9, 10, 11, plus 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So whooped him big time. Um, we had four turns left, but I don't think that's going to matter. Uh, there he beat us. Okay. I'll take, I got one movement point left I can take. Wait, wait 6, 7, 8. Yeah, definitely beat us. Okay. Um, oh, no. He, that's an 11. Beat us again. I'm, I, okay, now I'm down to two, uh, a combat of one. It's going to take real luck. No, we didn't get it. We lost. At the very last minute, we lost against the boss. But <laughs> there you have it. So all that exploration to lose against the weakest boss in the game. Uh, just bad luck at the end there, trying to get to the villages. We, we didn't make it. However, um, we do score. I'll just go. I don't know if it's worth going through that because I actually lost the game, I think. End game. If the hero is defeated, you lose. So you don't have to do the scoring. However, if I had beaten, beaten him, let's see. Um, and I was on moderate, I was on normal mode. Um, so my player score would have been not bad. Okay, there you go. That is it for uh, Light in the Dark, uh, the dark one. But it's okay, because it was my first time playing. So I should have kept, no, nah, I guess it wouldn't have mattered. I, I, I lost, really, the cultists were what defeated us. The boss was just the icing on the cake. I did do some damage to the boss, but then he got us. Anyway, let me know what you think of this little game. Um, it's a fun little game. The map gets sprawling. I didn't think it would require as much space as it did, but it does. And I will talk to you in the next episode. By all means, please uh, share uh, your thoughts on what I said at the beginning of the video. And also tell me about what you think about this game. And also, if you have uh, someone mentioned wanting to see Darkest Dungeon, uh, the board game again on the table, that might, that might be a thing. Um, though, I do have some other stuff I would like to do. So we'll see. Anyway, um, we'll play it by ear, and I'll see what I get to the table next. I thought it was going to be... Let me ask you this. I thought it was going to be the new set of watch. I was going to do a doomed run with set of watch and see how far we could get over a couple of episodes. Um, maybe all the way, which would mean quite a few episodes. That might be a thing. Uh, let me know what you think, and I'll talk to you in the next episode of something. Uh, see you soon, and please look out for more. Take care. Bye-bye.